Hello. Let's see how we can solve this tricky exercise with a surface modeling tools and a 3D sketch. All right, so what we get is a top view and a side view and an isometric view. And um, those lines here are hidden lines as well um, symmetric between those two views and usually the isometric view can help a lot to imagine how that body it is but we really don't see too much what is front what is back or what is forward what is backwards okay so let's see let's take that down that is the body again top view front view isometric and when the shading um okay we see what's going on right all right so um and you can see what what type of tools are used boundary patch there's a 3d sketch pattern stitch surface and so on so let's get to it. metric standard millimeters or inch whatever you feel comfortable with create and then I'll start a sketch on the XY plane. I'll use this three point center rectangle. Start at the origin. Make those two edges equal. Then take the vertical constraint. model or sketch another rectangle again origin to one side again make those two same length then just um, give it some dimension I'll take 20 millimeters and draw one more of those three-point rectangles here make that coincident here and there okay so we get a fully defined sketch on the XY plane and I'll end I'll exit and now um, let's start a 3D sketch. Um, I'll start with a, a straight line coming out of that point forward to that. Let's give it that measurement of 10. Let's get out of that ortho mode and continue sketching from that corner to that one, to that one and back here. Okay, so of that four-sided pyramid, we get that one side. I'll finish that sketch and patch that with the surface done okay so to um, see those axes I'll make all of them visible and start a circular pattern of that surface around the y axis four times 
Okay. Then I will stitch those four surfaces. And um, then I'll patch the bottom. Okay, and stitch that one more time, the top with that part. And that makes it a solid body. Now we can mirror that part over that plane. And um, make another circular pattern or that part. Let's stay in individual bodies. Axis is the Z axis and just four instances. Okay. And now let's um, we see we got four solid bodies. Let's make another circular pattern. Let's pick that one. Stay in the create new bodies. Rotation axis is that one. Again, four times. All right, and that really solves um, the puzzle or the problem. We see we got seven solid bodies and just because um, to unify things, we'll combine all those in one. Here, that's the one. And that's it. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, you're free to support my channel with a like, a comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.